With this video, I'm going to show you how to use the geolocation aspect of Civil 3D. Um, it allows you to bring in aerials and maps so that your um, you can put it behind your drawing, and it is basically like it's not there. There's not an actual file attached or anything, so it doesn't slow your drawing down with the big ECW files or Mr. Sid files or things like that. So this is really slick, and super nice that, that they've added this in. is really great. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is have your drawing open and go to the Settings tab and click right-click on the very top to edit the drawing settings. You got to check to make sure that you're in a uh, in the correct uh, units and the correct zone. We're in the NAD 83 Indiana State Plains East Zone U.S. Foot. Um, I've selected all that, just US survey foot. You want to make sure everything's in the right zone, the right coordinate system, etc. Um, so if you go to the geolocation tag tab, you won't be able to, you can try to turn an aerial on, and it shows that it's supposed to be on. You can see the little Bing logo down there, but nothing shows up. You know, zoom extents, there's nothing in the drawing. Um, it's confusing because people think it should just be there somewhere, and it doesn't show up. You have to have some sort of line work in the drawing um, so that it kind of knows where to put the aerial, I think. Um, I guess that's as I've figured it out. There has to be line work in the correct coordinate zone, real world coordinates, um, to get the aerials and the other imagery to, to work. So I go bring in a drawing that is in the coordinate zone that we just looked at, Indiana State Plains East. Once it's there, I'll zoom extent so that it, I'm kind of in that area. With some parcels. Um, now, if you go up to the geolocation tab, turn on map aerial. You know, you can see the uh, the aerial just kind of flows and moves wherever you slide your cursor around. You just kind of keep zooming out, and there's no lag. Usually, if you have an aerial this large, there's just a really large amount of lag in the drawing because of the size of the um, file. So as you, you can see, you can just keep zooming out and it's the entire east part of Indiana. Um, the cool part about this is so you, you have more than just an aerial, you have you can do roads if you need to see what's going on, where you're at, cities that are close, that sort of thing. Um, you can do that and you can do a, a mix, a hybrid of both shows the aerials with the roads behind it. It's very similar to the regular online maps that you would find at Bing or Google or whatever. Um, so this really helps when you're first looking at a project, even later on work, you know, working with the project, being able to have an aerial on behind your um, line work just makes things easier. So that's the real quick and easy way to get an aerial on with the uh, geolocation tag. Um, if you want to capture just this piece of it and have the rest of it go away, you can cl click this button and say capture area and just do a window around the area that you want. And so it basically just clips that out. You can see it duplicated the label and stuff down here for saying the Microsoft Corporation. So if you want that to go away, the outside part, you just come back here and turn map off and it just keeps the clip of where you chose that you wanted to see the aerial. If you go inside your viewport, you can zoom and it just shows the aerial for the clip that you chose. Now if you wanted to change that clip up here in the ribbon, it shows your options. You can make it a hybrid of just the clip. So now it would be you know, it shows the roads and things. Um, if you want to get rid of, if, oh man, I chose the wrong part, you can just delete that, turn your map back on, capture the area again, and you just, if you wanted to exclude a few parcels, and then you can turn your map back off, and that's just the piece that you chose. Um, if you want to do just your viewport. I'll do a DView twist and we can twist this viewport. 
if you want to capture just this portion inside the viewport double click in the viewport map aerial and there's a button if you pull down it says to capture viewport and if we go back to model space you can see it just wherever my viewport was it clipped inside the viewport so it works really well the kind of the downside of this is that these images are not really clear you know some of the files that you pull in from the ECW files are you know six inch resolution and whatnot um, that's not these these images are not that clear so when you go to print them there's going to be a little bit of graininess to the um, to the image uh, but for the most part the advantage of it not being uh, draggy on your drawing is much better than having that good of an aerial if it's just for exhibits and things. If it's for a plot or something that's going to be displayed, you'll want to get better aerials. But for the most part, these images are, are pretty good. And you can change you can change the quality of the image. If you click on click on the viewport, click on the capture that you did and you, up here you can change from coarse you see it gets really grainy and then if you go to very fine it sharpens it up and then you can adjust the fade to make it darker or lighter the contrast and the brightness so that is how to use the geolocation map inside of Civil 3D 2018